What's up? Madden 25. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know what that was. I was just messing around. I uh, figured I would change it up a little bit. Uh, but anyways guys, what is up Madden 25 Games? Welcome back to another Madden 25 tip. Guys, today we're talking about coverage defense. This is really important uh, for your... Uh, defense because what good is it to have a blitz if you don't have coverage off of it? So there's two, two specific coverages we're doing, and most of the time we do coverage defense out of like the another nickel for formation. So like we may do it out of two, four, five as opposed to three, three, five. Well, for this we're actually going to be using coverage defense out of our blitzes. So uh, two men under and cover three are the two coverage defenses we're going to be running. We're only running two. Because we want them to look like our blitz. Yes. So, two men under. Here's what we like to do. We like to base a line. Shift our D-line to the right. Spread our linebackers. And crash our defensive line down. Now, from that point, we want to take this guy, Geno Atkins here. Man him up on the running back. we we'll take this right of screen defensive end. Drop him into either a flat zone or a curl flat zone. Whatever you want. I technically uh, have been doing, or I uh, per personally have been doing a lot lately uh, with flat zones. So, I like the flat zones personally. Um, and then the only other thing you do is take Burfacet here and put him into a hook zone. He's actually going to be your user player. And then if you want to, uh, you know, if they don't have a speed threat, you could drop maybe Nelson in a flat or whatever. But this is the two-man under version. And uh, there's, see there's going to be about two. Uh, sometimes you're going to get two-man pressure here. It's going to force him to roll right, roll right, roll right. And then that flat zone typically will make that tackle for you. So... That's the man version. Here is the zone version. So the zone version is from the cover three. Uh, what we like to do is we like to base a line, sp uh, crash our defensive line, or shift our defensive line to the right, crash our defensive line down. Then I like to spread my linebackers. I like to globally blitz my, uh, or excuse me, I like to globally zone my linebackers. Then I like to globally blitz my right of screen outside linebacker Harrison here. Then I like to uh, man a line and rebase line if you have time to do that. And then from that point, you're just going to man up, guys. So I like to man up Atkins on Lynch, and I like to man up Dunlap on Baldwin. Uh, or basically that reference. So like the defensive end goes on the slot on that side, and the defensive tackle goes on the running back Okay, every single time. That kind of ratio. And you'll see you get some decent pressure here off that right edge, force him to roll to the left. He rolls out, and there's just a lot of coverage on the field. It looks a lot like the LB Dogs Blitz, but it's now got coverage behind it. Even though you may not get the exact pressure that you were getting from LB Dogs, you might. I mean, sometimes you actually will get some pressure from this play. But um, you know, I mean, this is just a really nice play here, and it's just a basic cover three shell. And you could take Williams, maybe throw him in a curl flat, and throw Dunlap in a flat if you wanted to do that. Go crazy with your zones, things like that. But this is just a really nice play, and I think it does a really nice job at at at, at hitting. Wow, Golden Tate got lucky on that one. Uh, Leon Hall was coming over to get him, but uh, I think this play does a really nice job at. Basically, defending the areas that the LB Dogs and the Cover 3 Zone Blitz are very weak at. And I, I just I love that about this play. And see here, I mean, sometimes you'll even get the pressure uh, like you did from the Cover 3. So, a lot of stuff here with that. But that concludes the scheme outside of the Red Zone. So, tomorrow we'll be talking Red Zone defense and Red Zone offense. So, be sure to come back tomorrow. Remember about the Facebook thing. Um, you know, if you like my page... You will receive a free e-guide when I release my 335 e-book. And I'm actually going to be releasing my 335 e-book. I'm working on it right now. i um, really excited about it. Can't wait to get that going because I'm going to use it as like a preview for my Madden 15 stuff that I'm going to be doing this year. So check all that out, guys. Facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. You don't want to miss that opportunity. Go over there, like that page, and be able to stay up to date on everything that I'm doing uh, with my YouTube channel as well as kind of just way I'm providing more content for the Madden community. Thanks, guys.